Hi, and welcome to the Resources Roadhouse Lockdown Lowdown Series. Uh, I, and I am joined once again by Blackstone Minerals Managing Director, Scott Williamson. Now, Scott, um, you've, you've been busy up in uh, Vietnam. Uh, you've recently commenced drilling of regional targets at the Ortequa Nickel PGE project up in Vietnam there. And uh, just you've just released an announcement saying that the visuals of the drill core are, are fairly uh, exciting and providing plenty of encouragement. So could you just give us a bit of a, a rundown what's happening there? Where are you drilling? What's the target? What, what's happening? They're, they're just, there's too much. <laughs> yeah, thanks, Wally. Yeah, it's, um, it's pretty exciting to be targeting massive sulphide. Um, we always knew that there was going to be all these um, 25 targets out there that we, we wanted to test, but we, we needed to start um, first with that disseminated ore body at Van Fook, and now we get to do the exciting stuff, which is the massive sulphide um, vein targets. Uh, so the first target is called Ban Chang, and um, the first three holes have intersected massive sulphide within metres of the EM um, anomaly. So that, I suppose, is a really key thing, is that the, the geophysics is working to perfection uh, and we're hitting the uh, massive sulphide vein targets within metres of where they're supposed to be or where the geophysics is saying that they will be. Um, the first three holes are all looking pretty good and they're all in the lab. Um, the first two holes were more, more narrow high grade sort of uh, veins we think um, and sort of around that one metre to one and a half metres which is very similar to the Banfook mine, um, massive sulphide, that had an average width of 1.3 metres. But the Ban, Ban Chang uh, West target is looking very similar to Ban Phuc. And then just today, we've uh, announced the first hole in Ban Chang East, which is a lot wider zone. So it's nine, nine, over nine metres. Um, so um, and that's made up of massive sulphide and semi-massive sulphide, as well as a little bit of disseminated sulphide. So it's a more of a bulk underground mining scenario, so up to nine metres, is, which is a great result because we can bulk it out, you can get economies of scale and, and really um, push the tonnes through the, the concentrator. So yeah, it's, uh, it's coming together nicely so far. All right, well, um, it's a pretty good strike rate, to, like you go out there, the first three holes that you've drilled, um, and they've, they've all you know, hit what you are looking for. So uh, that provides plenty of encouragement for what the other 24 targets to, to go. Yeah, it's, uh, it's a great start and, and it just shows how powerful EM is as a targeting tool for us. And, and, and like most nickel miners and nickel sulphide explorers, um, EM is, is such a great tool for the modern uh, I suppose geology toolkit and um, and and so yeah pretty excited there we've got 1.2 kilometers of strike of these EM plates so this is not a, a small um, ore body it's it potentially fairly large and could add a significant amount of tonnage um, but particularly at that higher grade so yeah it's a good start three from three hopefully more to come well, and and let's get back to uh, some previous success you had uh, the King Cobra Discovery Zone. Um, you've also got a drill rig uh, operating out there as well, haven't you? Yeah. So our main drill rig, which is our rig that can drill a, di a little bit deeper, um, that's on the King Cobra Discovery Zone, and we're just drilling down dip as we sort of I've, try and find that feeder zone or the the source of all the mineralisation. So that's ongoing and. And um, yeah, we're real, still excited to see what might be down there. And we've only just started the downhole EM on that area as well. So downhole EM is a tool to, to get deeper. So you can put the um, EM down the hole and get try and um, see that deeper zone so that hopefully we can vector in on the on the source or the feeder zone. So yeah, ongoing there as well. Um, and, and hopefully we can hit some massive sulphide at depth at, at the King Cobra as well. So yeah, we've got yep. plenty of news coming. In the background, you've got the scoping study going on. Um, your downstream processing scoping study, how's that um, moving along? Yeah, so that's actually going along really well. And um, we're starting to feed those numbers into our, our new partner, Echo Pro. So they're, they're obviously focused on the downstream product, which is the nickel sulfate. Um, so that's, yeah, all on track for Q3. Um, so we've, we've completed the downstream. We're now moving into the upstream. So the concentrator upgrades, um, we're looking at a couple of different scenarios there. And then we, um, where the block models are just coming through as well, and, and we'll, we'll build the mining studies and the um, open pit mine optimizations uh, as well. So yeah, all on track for um, Q3. And, and so maiden resource and scoping study, uh, it'll be a big quarter in Q3 for us. All right, well, 
Well, I suppose um, after the, the end of the financial year and then we're all allowed out to play again, we can find out what's going on and then there's going to be plenty of news coming down from Vietnam by, by the sound of it. So we'll look forward to uh, you know, learning all that, seeing it all come through and we also look forward to bringing it to our readers and our viewers here at the Resources Roadhouse. But until then, Scott Williamson from Blackstone Minerals, thanks once again for being part of the Resources Roadhouse. Thanks a lot, Wally.